I Bowa. Today's video is about must visit places and important places in Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura is the first capital of Sri Lanka and was a major intellectual center for early Theravada Buddhism. The ruins of ancient Sri Lanka civilization in Anuradhapura has made it a UNESCO World Heritage Site from 1982. Atamastane or the eight sacred sites are considered the most important places that a Buddhist pilgrim must visit in Anuradhapura. Not only Buddhist, anybody interested on culture and heritage will find it interesting to visit Atamastane. The most prominent sacred place among the eight sacred sites is Sri Mahabodhya, perhaps the oldest living tree in the world and the oldest tree with a written history. Around 245 BC, Sangamitta Theraniya brought a branch of Bodhi tree under which the Buddha attained enlightenment. From the ancient era, king of the country made it a habit to protect and do the puja to this sacred Bodhi tree. The next sacred place is Ruan Valley Saya, which is also called as Maha Saya, built by King Dutugem. The stupa was then renovated by many other kings thereafter. Ruan Valley Saya is 350 feet in height and 300 feet in diameter today. It is a wonderful creation with many stories built about this Saya. Ruanali Saya is a precious and very very important stupa for Buddhists around the world. Tuparame is the first stupa to be built in the country after the introduction of Buddhism to Sri Lanka. Built in the times of King Devanampetissa as a monastery that is Arama complex, you can see a unique architectural feature called Watadage that is the stupa house here. The stupa becomes sacred as it contains the right collarbone of Lord Buddha. In size, this stupa is a bit small compared to others. It is said that Loba Mahapaya is a nine-story monastic structure built by King Dutugemunu in the 2nd century BC. This used to be the tallest building and believed to have 1,600 pillars. Abhegiri Dhagabha is another attractive stupa which is built by King Valagamba. The stupa is still being renovated without harming the ancient value of the place. It has a brick structure building which is different from common Buddhist stupa in the same area. Jetvana at 122 meters is the largest brick structure and was the world's tallest stupa and the third tallest structure in the world when it was built by King Mahasena, who ruled Anuradhapura at that time. It is said that the tallest non-pyramidical building in the world is also Jetavana Rame. The Mirasavati Stupa is a memorial stupa done by King Dutugemunu after defeating King Elara during war. This stupa was built to get rid of the feeling that he got after consuming a chili curry without offering to sacred sangha. With the singular name for chilies, the stupa was named Mirisavatiya by the king Dutugem. Lankaramya is a stupa built by King Valagamba. Nothing much is known about this ancient form of the stupa and later it has been renovated. The ruins show that there are rows of stone pillars and it is no doubt that there has been a house encircling the stupa to cover it, that is Watadagi. This has been used as an Arama complex where a number of Buddhist monks used to live here. If I brief you Atamastane or the eight sacred places, in summary, it would be Sri Mahabodhya, Ruan Valley Saya Stupa, Tupa Rama Stupa, Lova Mahapaya Stupa, Abhegiri Stupa, Jedavana Rama Stupa, Mirsavetya Stupa and Lanka Rama Stupa.
There are few other important places that you can visit in Anuradhapura apart from eight sacred sites. One would be Kutam Pokuna or Twin Ponds. That's a pair of ponds which is located in Anuradhapuri. It stands as an example for outstanding architectural and hydrological engineering creations of ancient Sri Lankans. The two ponds of different sizes are separated by a landscaped garden. The large pond is about 40 meter into 50 meters in size with a depth of 5 meters. The small pond is about 28 meter into 15 meter in size with a depth of 4 meters. The pond is decorated with intricate carvings of the Sinhalese architecture. It is believed that the pond was used by the king and his queens or may be built for the use of Buddhist monks. Next comes Megagiri Vihara is now commonly known as Isuru Munia lies near Tissaveva in Anuradhapura. Isuru Munia is believed to have been built by King Devanam Piyatissa during 300 BC. The temple is carved out of and circles around an abrupt natural rock formation by the Tissaveva. Isuru Munia is most famous for the stone carving of a couple and the bas relief figures cut out into the rock there. We call it Isurumuni Pemuel. This carved stone was found in the royal pleasure garden and brought here some time ago. There are many interpretations given for these carvings. The most common belief is this couple is Danta Kumara and Hemamala who brought the sacred tooth relic to Sri Lanka from India. The stone carving is such a wonderful creation done on a rock with the smallest features carved on the face of it. A wonderful item for you to witness. You can also visit the museum and also walk around the vast area of Isurumonia temple to witness this great history and wonderful carvings. It is of course a nice temple for you to explore the area. Stay with us.